The Atari.io button is here because it's the 26th of the month and every 26th of the month, Atari.io celebrates Atari Day. And today I'm going to celebrate by playing Activision's Freeway for your Atari video computer system or 2600, whatever you prefer. And according to the box art, it's about a chicken running across a road with some severely elongated vehicles. Uh, the chicken leaves behind a rainbow wherever he goes and his head is melting. Wow, this looks like it's going to be fun. Let's go ahead and take Freeway, pop into my Atari 7800 Pro system and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Freeway was published by Activision and carries the copyright year of 1981. It was programmed by David Crane, who also made The Great Pitfall, which I reviewed in episode 149. According to Mr. Crane, the game was inspired by watching a man cross Lakeshore Drive in Chicago. Freeway is a single screen game for one or two players simultaneously. It plays like the early 1970s arcade game Space Race, or like the first half of the arcade game Frogger, with a joystick that only moves up and down. When the game starts, you simply move your chicken up and down, trying to cross the road as many times as possible before the 2 minutes and 16 seconds invisible timer runs out and freezes the game. If you are hit and your difficulty switch is in the B position, you will be knocked back a lane. If you are hit when it's in the A position, you return to the curb. The game has 8 variations. According to the manual, Game 1 takes place at Lakeshore Drive in Chicago at 3 a.m. This variation only has cars and the traffic is thin and the speeds are relatively slow. The second game variation takes place at Interstate 5 in Seattle at 6 a.m. with some trucks and thicker traffic mixed in. And it also moves a little faster. Game 3 takes place on Santa Monica Freeway in Los Angeles at 10 a.m. And now there's more trucks and they are the fastest moving vehicle. Game 4 takes place on the Bayshore Freeway in San Francisco at midnight, and there are trucks in every lane. Game 5 takes place at the John Lodge Expressway in Detroit at 9 p.m. 6 takes place at the Beltway in Washington, D.C. at 6 p.m. 7 takes place on the LBJ Freeway in Dallas at 5 p.m. And Game 8 takes place on the Long Island Expressway in New York City at 3 a.m. Games 5 through 8 copy games 1 through 4, except now the cars and truck speed can change randomly. When the game first came out, you could have got a Save the Chicken Foundation badge from Activision if you crossed the road at least 20 times in either game variation 3 or 7 and sent a picture to Activision. Graphically speaking, the game looks decent, although to me the chicken looks more like a rabbit when moving, and I kind of wish they made the game variations look a little different, since they are supposed to take place in different cities at different times of day. Sound-wise, not much to say here, except I thought the sounds of the honking horns were excellent. Family-friendly wise, the game is really tame, but it almost wasn't. Originally, David Crane was going to have an actual person cross the road who would turn into a pool of blood when hit, but later made the game a little less controversial by turning the bloody man into an unharmable chicken. The bloody human version of Freeway can be found on some Activision compilations. At the time, my research on eBay, loose copies were going for $4 to $5, and complete copies were going for $5 to $10, including shipping. So what did I think of Freeway? Honestly. I was bored and pretty much blamed Frogger for it. Whenever I'm on the curb, I kept wanting to move to the left or right, even though I couldn't. And it just wasn't exciting to continuously cross the same road over and over again. If I had never played Frogger, I might have enjoyed this a little bit more, but after enjoying Frogger, it's really hard not to compare the two and want to play Frogger instead. It would be like playing a Space Invaders clone where you couldn't move sideways or a Pac-Man game without power pellets. So where am I going to rank Freeway? Well, since my rankings are based on my enjoyment of the game, and since I have no desire to play the game again, it's going to be low. Very low. I'd rather deal with the horrible flickering of Defender at 89, but I would rather cross the road again than deal with the terrible controls of Title Match Pro Wrestling at 90. So out of the 101 games I've now ranked on the Atari 2600, Freeway is clucking into the 89 position. So why did the chicken cross the freeway? Apparently to play a game of Frogger at the local pizzeria. At this time, I'd like to thank the members at the forums at Atari.io for voting on which game I should review today. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it, even if I didn't care for the game. So what do you think of Freeway? Whether you agree or disagree with me, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Also feel free to click the like and subscribe buttons. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon. Just go to patreon.com slash gamer for more information. You can also follow me on both the Facebook or the Twitter. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the No Swear Gamer. Take care and look both ways before crossing the street, especially if you're a chicken who can't move sideways.